Good. Good evening to Sarah's five minute sketch walk. Today we have something a little bit different because we are not walking anywhere. We have this wonderful subject in our own garden. So I'm just gonna give you a very quick sketch of how to draw this one, this eyed hawk moth. So I'm gonna draw a circle. I'm going to draw a triangle off the circle. I'm going to do a triangle a triangle and another triangle and then I'm going to follow that onto this side triangle and another triangle on the end so you almost have a very abstracted um, shape and then I can see things like I'm going to work out this this is the end of the tail the end of the tail is not sharp so I'm going to round that off and I'm going to nibble that off with the pencil with the rubber and make it nice and rounded I'm going to shade the body in very briefly but I imagine at the same time that the body is a stick of rock so it has a three dimension so the sides will be slightly darker and then I'm going to quickly peg in the head markings. Oh, there we go. Bear has come to see us to see what we're up to. Hi, Bella. Hi, Bella. Because mummy's attention is... Um, and now I'm going to just put the legs in there slightly, just a hint of them. And I'm coming down, I'm going to quickly peg in the markers. We don't have long at all. We've got to be so quick to get the impression of what we're doing. Now, imagine that this wing has a thickness to it. And as we take our line of our pencil off, we give it a bit of... We're coming from this end and we're giving it some detail. And there's some lovely detail here as well, but it's actually... I'm going to give it directional shading so i'm going up the wing and there's some lovely lovely bits and we just don't have long at all i'm going to put the eye spot in for you so the eye spots come out if the if the moth feels threatened and it's so well camouflaged i can hardly see this brown on this area i'm not going to bother with the other wing because what happens is what we can do and we realize this wing does actually go into the body slightly is that we can just copy the other wing over so that saves us a lot of time if we were out in the field and especially in lockdown we're not allowed to hang around we really are not supposed to be stopping i'm going to put in this shape here give it a bit more welly down the sides i'm going to draw down as if i have a spine i'm going to use my rubber to take away a few areas where the highlights are on the spine I'm going to directionally shade up the head and I'm going to give it a bit more detail around the, around the top area. It's very dark, so we're going to have to go over that a few times. You can actually get a slightly darker pencil if you wish, just to give it some dark. And I'm going to dark in around here and I'm going to dark in around here. And we're nearly to time. It's very quick sketch. We don't want to be hanging around we're nearly to the end i'm just going to put a slight bit more and there's a few bits of detail on this wing here that's beautiful beautiful so beautiful to be able to hear the birds so loud because there's no airplanes in the sky and no traffic from the roads it's absolutely wonderful i'm really enjoying that I'm just going to take away a slight bit on this because the head is the detail on the head is slightly smaller and there we go there's our five minute sketch all done very very quick we can't do any more we could do a lot more we could be here for half an hour probably one hour if we like to do it very detailed but we just wanted to capture it really fast i've been looking forward to sketching this all day we've been out on a lovely river walk today and there we go five minute sketch and we've done one wing because we've no need to do the other because obviously we it is in reverse it's symmetrical so we can follow the pattern over i hope you've enjoyed watching and if you haven't already done so that you've 
gone onto the Hearts and Middlesex Wildlife Trust website and signed up for the Wild at Home newsletter, which gets sent direct to your inbox. Thank you very much for watching this evening. Hope you've enjoyed it.